In this YouTube video, we're going to show you how to import leads in case you have a lead list that you'd like to mass email, mass phone call, or keep track of customers and uh, old data, that sort of thing. When you have Cloudia or Ida open, then from the main page that you see here in the leads uh, mode or leads tab, then all you simply need to do to be able to bring in leads is at the top in the middle, you'll see that there's a migrate data button. And when you click on that migrate data button, the system's asking you whether you want to import from a file or export to a file. We're going to focus on importing from a file. When you import from a file, you'll have to pick where that file is and determine whether the first row has headers or not. The system primarily is looking for uh, an XLS, uh, XLSX, or CSV file. CSV is probably the most commonly used files. I have to have a sample file here that we're going to use as an example. This would be a file that I currently have open in Excel. As you can see, I've got a column that has my states, phone numbers, a street address, a, uh, another street address, a uh, city, a zip code, uh, dates of birth, and the gender, and then the uh, first name and the last name. And um, you don't have to have a column heading, but in this particular case, I'm going to um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to stick one in here. I'm going to call this state. I'm going to call this phone two in this particular case. Phone one. And this is probably my primary street address. I'm going to say street one, street two, city, zip, email, date of birth. the uh, gender, the first name, actually this is, uh, looks like a last name actually, last name, and first name. And the primary reason why I'm, I'm just sticking something like that in there is so that when I bring in the file itself, I'm able to quickly sort through which one of these fields is which, and this should be pretty straightforward for you. And I'm going to save this as a, uh, on my documents, as a test upload, file is the name of my file. Make sure you save it as a CSV, comment delimited, which from the drop down in Excel uh, will be right about here. And when you save that, uh, go ahead and in this case I'm going to replace it, and then I'm going to close that down. Okay. Once that's closed in Ida itself again, I'm going to import a file, so I just need to find where that file is. I'm going to hit choose file, and in this case I'm going to hit documents and I'm going to find my test upload folder and there's my file. So once you've located your file, in this case this is CSV, you tell the system whether the first row is headers or not. And again what this means is that first row in that Excel file or CSV file is going to be the name of the field for each one of those items. In other words, first name equals the, the actual name of the person and the last name equals the name of somebody. So in this case I'm going to say yes. Then at the top there's a next, bu next step button. When you click the next step button, then it's going to bring in the first actual, um, it's going to bring the column name, but then it's going to bring in the first row of data so that you can map that. In other words, you're telling Ida or Claudia what each one of those fields means. And if your column heading is accurate enough, then the system should be able to pick most of these. So in this case, uh, Wyoming is my state, and that's already mapped as a state field. So that's, that is the state in Ida. And then over here, I've got phone one and phone two. So I'm going to come down here and hit the drop down. And I'm going to say that this is my home phone. And this is my work phone. And then street one and street two. I'm going to say this is my address one. This is my address number two. And then I've the city and the state, the city and the zip already mapped over, the email address mapped over. Uh, the birth date managed to map over gender and last name and first name. So I didn't, in a lot of cases, is smart enough to be able to figure out uh, what one of these guys actually is. Once you've actually uh, told the system what each column in the sample data equals to in IDA, then you simply hit the next step button again, and it'll automatically import the leads. The lead, the lead limit currently of import is 5,000 records, and um, that can be adjusted later on other versions of IDA if you do an upgraded version. Once I hit the finish button, then you'll see underneath the leads folder here, all five of my leads have now imported and on the display it will tell me the uh, sources of the import, the date that I had and time that I actually imported those, first name, last name, age, etc. And then of course I can then open up the lead for additional information if I want to see that lead or go through the correspondence, sales data, lead data, etc. That should help you on importing 
data. If there's any other uh, questions or if you have any other um, needs on uh, doing research on IDA, just do a search on YouTube.